all right guys so it is currently 4 52 and we are on our way to the airport um at the next flight you turn can right. see my our bag in the back i'm so tired i was not able to sleep at all because i knew i had to wake up at four and so i couldn't sleep and i am currently running on zero hours of sleep so we'll see how we do i'll be vlogging during the weekend and i'll show you guys how um everything leading up to like the days that we minister so i hope you enjoyed this vlog and yeah <laughs> all right guys so we are at um this place where we're gonna drop off our car since we're gonna be gone the whole weekend we're gonna park it okay and we're just gonna leave it here it's still dark out so yeah that's what we're doing right now and then we're gonna take a i think a bus or some type of ride watch your step okay okay you ready Alright guys, we made it to the airport. We're about to go through security. security. It's in my bag. Well, you need it. Okay. have something to eat from Wendy's. I'm gonna have a sausage. It's a breakfast? And fries. Alright guys, so this is our second flight and we are on our way to Texas. center and we are gonna go get settled where we're gonna stay i'll show you guys where we'll be staying for this youth retreat and yeah we will be staying at it's like a hotel so 
so this is the bathroom. It's the shower. I guess this is supposed to be for coffee, but there is no coffee in here. All right, guys, so we were supposed to walk earlier today, but we were so tired. We literally fell asleep for like two hours. So now we are gonna go on a little walk and explore the campsite and I'll show you guys around. That is so beautiful. There's these little, um, how do you call that? Okay, these boards, boards <laughs> everywhere with different Bible verses. Look at the sun. There's a lake. Okay, that does not do it justice. It's a hotel. It has mosquitoes. Literally, you could see them in the, even on the camera. It's because we're stepping on the grass. Ooh, Mira. It's beautiful right here. That little spot. Oh, there's a little thing right there. Look. Like a sitting spot. What's that sound? Alright everyone, so it's 10 and I'm going to pray, spend some time with the Lord before going to bed and then wake up super early to spend more time with the Lord. And then I get to preach at 8 to the young people at the youth retreat that we're at. Um, I just have my headphones here because I pray with headphones. Um, they're supposed to block out the sound and stuff and just so I could focus on just loving him and being with him and not like get distracted by other sounds or noises or whatever is happening around. So I'm going to spend some time with the Lord and then I'm going to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. everyone so after spending time with the Lord this morning we got ready and we're just waiting to be told where the service is going to be at so we can head downstairs to wherever it is but we'll let you guys know and I'll show you guys a little bit of the service if you guys want to watch more of what um, happens during our meetings check out Joshua Kelly Ministries channel on YouTube and you guys can find videos and preachings on there but we're just waiting for um, to be told where the service is this morning and I'll show you guys a little bit of that <laughs> but Jesus says I have come and the Lord has come today to tell you I have come to give you isn't the name of Jesus wonderful? All the world can come to Him and have their sins removed. 
isn't the all right guys so it is now a little bit past 10. i've taken off my makeup changed my clothes and we just ordered um some food because today was crazy um we went to the first service at eight and i preached in the morning and i think there was like 150 young people here at the retreat and they said it was going to be 200 but then they said 150 so i'm guessing it's in between 150 to 200 young people and um we did the altar call and half of them i would say like yeah like 75 kids gave their lives to jesus and um some of them have never been to a christian church they um, asked them right now in the last service if they had ever been to a christian church they hadn't and then they asked them if it was their first time at a retreat and they raised their hands as well. So some of them had never been to church or to a retreat and it was incredible, like the first service. And the second one was even more powerful. Um, we After the first one, we came back to our room to take a nap and to pray, to rest and pray. And um, then we went back at seven. We actually had to make a decision. Do we pray or do we eat um, dinner? So we had to skip dinner. So yeah, then we went to second service at seven. Um, Josh preached and of course he is a fireball and the fire of God fell on the young people. I helped him pray for people so like honestly uh you guys are gonna like we didn't really have um content because it was both of us ministering in both of the service and we are our own media team so we weren't able to get like any videos or much pictures of like what was happening but it was amazing god healed a lot of people like in the moment people were getting healed from um different things pain and bone problems back problems and like the young people were like whoa this is insane and as we were about to leave um they were still asking for prayer so we were still praying for people and the lord still healed people and it was incredible it was amazing so yeah that's what happened and i wasn't able to get like any content but i'll be posting like slides or pictures um so you guys can kind of see we weren't able to like show when we were praying for people or when people got healed because i mean you're either ministering or you're focused on taking pictures and for us, it was more important to pray for people and to minister to them. So we are praying for a media team. If the Lord speaks to your heart and you want to be part of this ministry and you want to do media team for this ministry, let us know. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but really, we're praying for a media team for this ministry. So we're going to eat. Then we're going to go to sleep because we have to wake up early again. Um... And then we have to preach. Josh is preaching in Fort Worth and I'm preaching in Dallas. And then we preach again at night. So it's going to be amazing and we are so excited for that. I don't know if I'm going to continue vlogging. I mean, I'm going to try to, but it's been like so on and off. Like because it's so hard to record and set the phone and be focused on what you're doing and being present and just it's harder for me to vlog on these kinds of trips but i'm trying to do my best so if i continue um during the uh the next two days it'll be um how it's been like just random moments but i hope you enjoy this video i do it so you guys can see like how it is behind the scenes of ministry and so that um you guys can be blessed 
but just how easy it is to love Jesus and it hopefully encourages you that um, it's worth everything and he is everything and the reason why we live like for us Josh and I is for the Lord and it's amazing it's been such a blessing we are tired I don't, I'm not sure if you can tell but I'm so tired uh, we've slept like four hours every day since our trip on we slept four hours on Friday night I mean Thursday night Is it Thursday night <laughs> I'm not even sure but we've been running on like four hours or zero hours or just a little bit of time of sleep but yeah God bless you guys, and I'm going to try to continue vlogging. So, I want to say bye now for tonight. Y al fin del día siempre estaba triste, sentía mm, mi corazón bien triste. Y cuando Dios me dijo, ¿sabes qué? Yo te voy a dar la presencia de Dios que estaba obrando en mí y cuando um, abrí mis ojos eh, la pareja me dijo que si yo sentía un dolor y yo le dije que no y ahora hoy yo no siento nada, no he sentido nada um, yo sé que yo estoy sana en el nombre de Jesús yo también tenía dolor arriba en mi espalda y oraron por mí y se me fue el dolor ya no he sentido nada desde ese momento. Y tomé la decisión de darle mi vida entera al Señor y que Él haga conmigo lo que Él quiera. Este es mi primer campamento y he agradecido con Dios porque me dejó decir. Traía una carga y vos, pues, nada triste, estaba gustado. Es algo muy pesado que a veces yo ni siquiera sabía que traía y ya pues... Cuando pasé al frente empezamos a orar, empecé a llorar y pues ahí me quebranté y solté todo, me desahogué ahí con Dios y sentí la presencia de Dios muy fuerte, me quedé ahí cuando ya casi todos se habían sentado, lo que estaba casi solo yo sentía que me sentía acompañado así, no, no sé, no se los puedo explicar porque o sea, uno, uno siente cuando alguien está al lado de usted y yo estaba solo. I was depressed in the campament. The predicador se puso a orar por mí y sentí algo muy bonito. Y cuando la la pastora Kelly puso su mano en mi corazón, sentí una paz, una me dio una palabra que
cosas grandes para mí y un propósito y por eso voy a seguir peleando y alabándole. Hechos 1.8 habla de este poder que vino sobre su pueblo, sobre aquellos que le seguían. Dice que empoderó en un instante, en un momento, a aquellos que algún día se alejaron y tuvieron miedo de ser vistos con Jesús. En un instante vino el poder del Espíritu Santo. Fueron bautizados, fueron llenos y estos mismos cobardes se convirtieron en personas que estaban dispuestos a morir por Jesucristo. Si tú dices yo no puedo vivir la vida cristiana Que Dios me exige que yo viva Necesitas el bautismo del Espíritu Santo El Espíritu Santo no solamente nos ayuda a ser No solamente nos ayuda a ser con nuestras manos en impartición Sino nos ayuda a ser a convertirnos en lo que Dios quiere que nosotros seamos Dice su palabra que hay una evidencia Hay una evidencia en Gálatas 5 La evidencia no es que usted se siente en un servicio el domingo Y que levante sus manos y que cante con el grupo de alabanza La evidencia de que usted está lleno del Espíritu Santo Es que hay Características en su vida En su matrimonio De que usted realmente Camina bajo el Espíritu Dice su palabra Más el fruto Más la evidencia Del Espíritu Es amor Gozo, paz, paciencia Benignidad, bondad Fe, mansedumbre Templanza an incredible time in Texas um, powerful powerful services miracles signs wonders and salvations we met up with friends and also um, went around Dallas to explore a little bit before we came to the airport we're at the airport right now but um, we're gonna have a stop and then we're gonna be able to actually get home and i'm gonna end my vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that it was a blessing if you liked it make sure you press like and don't forget to subscribe Bye.